So in this question, we want to know which of the following statements is true for this specific formula. So we're going to go through all the options and through process of elimination, get to the right answer. All right, so let's start off with A. If W is less than 10, X is positive. So let's pick a number that is less than 10. Let's pick the number 5. All right, so we have X equals 5 minus 2. And instead of W, we'll plug in a number that's less than 10, which is 5. And now we get that x equals 5 minus 10, which gives us a negative 5, meaning that this x is not positive, it's a negative, so a is incorrect. Let's move on to b. If w is greater than negative 2.5, x is negative. All right, let's check this. x minus 5 minus 2 times a number that is greater than negative 2.5, which could be 0. And we will get x equals 5 which is incorrect because we got a positive number, so b is incorrect. Now let's move on to c. If w is greater than negative 2.5, x is positive. All right, let's check this. We have x mi equals 5 minus 2 times a number that is greater than negative 2.5. Let's pick the number 5. We will get 5 minus 10 again, which gives us a negative 5, meaning that c is incorrect. And let's check our last answer, D, which should be the correct one. If W is less than 2.5, X is positive. So let's check this out. X equals 5 minus 2 times a number that is less than 2.5. So let's pick the number 0, and we get 5. So X is a positive number, and D is our correct answer. And we can also know this and check this because 2.5 times 2 will give us 5. And if we plug in a number that is less than 2.5, then this term will always be less than 5, meaning that x will always be positive.